anglers and boaters, as well as the tourism and local business they support, the influx of Asian carp is a serious threat. I've been proud to lead the war on Asian carp at the federal level, and my wingman and co-partner, Congressman Jamie Comer, and I are focused like a laser <clears throat> on trying to get this thing fixed. Uh, to confront a problem of this scale, we need to deploy every viable uh, defense. So what I did was to bring together local leaders and the Trump administration to address this urgent threat Earlier this year, we convened a meeting right here in West Kentucky that many of you attended. We're already seeing promising results of this joint uh, partnership. An amazing day here on Barkley Dam in Western Kentucky. The bioacoustic fish fence is now working and in progress, and carp are no longer coming into the Cumberland River here at Barkley Dam. Studies will begin to see how effective the fence is and how good the results will be. This is the first effort from hours and days and months and even years of this coming to fruition. Multiple governmental agencies, multiple people in high places in the government, and the anglers, the judges, and everyone else that has worked on this project. I'm so excited to be standing here today. This makes a huge vantage point, putting the focus of this study for the entire Mississippi River Basin, what this study can show in other places, stopping the carp from going further upstream on the Cumberland, as well as the Tennessee rivers to East Tennessee and further. So we're at a magical place right now at the War on Carp. I'm asking for your help as well. If you're a local angler, or you're an angler that comes to my part of the world here on Kentucky and Barkley Lakes for vacation, and you've got pictures of fish that you've caught, let's show the world that Kentucky and Barkley Lakes are not dead. I just filmed a television show here the other day and got it done in an hour and a half below Barkley Dam. Largemouth and smallmouth abound here. Show me the pictures. Let's stop the rumors in which Kentucky and Barkley Lake is dead because that's hurting our economy, that's hurting our tourism, that's hurting our people that are coming here to, to live and to have fun. We've got a great resource here on the Tennessee and the Cumberland Rivers, the LBL area, and we've got plenty of fish to catch. So if you've caught a big one, let us see it. Put it on Facebook. Let the world know that fishing is still good here on Kentucky and Barkley Lakes.